Hello everyone, Fagazi, the Profit Trailer Pundit, and I've got a video on a couple of topics today, subjects. Um, one of them being the all max cost and all max cost percentage, and the other being the all max buy spread, or the max buy spread for DCA. So a fair few questions are arising around these two, so I thought I might try and clear them up a bit. Um, if Guys, if you haven't bought Profit Trailer yet, or Profit Trailer Feeder for that matter, I've got a couple of affiliate links down in the description. Just click the Show More button down below the video and you'll get those links as well as a couple of other for various exchanges and stuff. Feel free to use them. If you don't want to use them, I'm fine with that also. Alright, let's get on to the subject. Um, I won't bother going through my monitoring page because as everyone knows in this last week it's been terrible. A couple of people still turning profits. I'm not. As you can see I'm minus 40 in a hole on this one. I'm not going to go through my other bots. I'm going to get straight into the nuts and the guts. Alright, so the two lines I want to talk about in the first section is the all max cost and the all max cost percentage. Okay, straight up you can use either or, you can't use them both. So if you use one of them, like I have got all max cost, you cannot, this has to be zero, either delete it or set it to zero. Likewise, if you want to use a percentage, you have to have this one to set to zero or just delete it. It works either way. You can't have both going. Alright, so straight up all max cost is what you want your individual buyers to be to cost um, I guess the wording's a little misleading it's not a maximum it's an actual cost unless you um, unless you get a partial buy of course and you're gonna get your cost is gonna be a little less so for me on Binance I've got a 0 0.0022 Bitcoin per transaction per buy and that's just to avoid the the be above the minimum trade and so I avoid getting buying dust going straight to dust so this will, every buy it'll attempt to, like it's not always going to buy exactly 0 0.022 Bitcoin worth of your coin, but it's going to get close. And if, unless you get a partial buy, which would be um, eliminated by using this volume trigger, unless you get a partial buy, all your trades are going to be around about that figure. Okay? So you can set this to whatever you want. Obviously it's got to be above minimum trade, which is 0.002 for uh, Binance and I think it's still 001 for Bitrex, don't quote me on that. And obviously ETH and USDT and BNB have their limits as well, you can find them on the exchange or ask around. So if you want to set it up to 0.1 of Bitcoin, you can do that, that's fine. You just set it to what you want. Okay, this one, all max cost percentage, now this calculates off your total, com total current value. So you want to set this, and this is where you need to do some calculation on your own behalf. You need to figure out, you can set this as a percentage, but you have to make sure that percentage is above minimum trade. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that for a couple of um, arbitrary figures. So I'm going to go straight to this little percentage calculator.net, it's just an easy website to go to to access it. Um, and let's say we want, let's say we've got 0.1 Bitcoin in our account, and we want to make our trades 0.0025 let's say so 0.0025 we want that to be our you know trading to start with of 0.1 bitcoin let's make it 0.1 to make it look nice and press calculate and there 2.5 so what you'd go and do is go and put in here obviously making sure this one's zero you chuck in here 2.5 and then every buy not every buy so your buy would be 2.5 percentage of your 0.1, providing your total current value is 0.1, which would equal around 0.0025 Bitcoin. Enough numbers there. Now, the beauty with this is as your total current value goes up, as you make profits over the coming days and whatnot, that percentage is also going to go up. Yeah? So 2.5, let's say we've just got it set at 2.5%, and after a couple of months, we're at 0.2. Um, so we're just going to plug 2.5% in here and now we've got 0 0.2 Bitcoin so we've doubled our, our holdings in, in let's say a month you know, just, just, for, just for example's sake calculate that and so now after a month if we just left it at the 2.5 each of our transactions would be costing 0 0.005 and as you get more, as you get more, as you get more it keeps going up now it's up to you whether you leave it at the 2.5 you can leave it at 2.5 or you can decrease it down as your total current value goes up. Completely your option, completely your choice. But this is essentially a way to have the bot compound. So 
that percentage, that percentage value there is going to keep going up as your total current value goes up. All right, I think that's rabbiting on enough about the max cost and max cost percentage. Hopefully you can understand that. Just whatever you do, make sure when you set a percentage, make sure that percentage equates to the minimum buy value of your chosen exchange. Okay, now the next one is the max buy spread. Do I even have it in here? I do. So all max buy spread, and you'll see in your DCA, you've also got a max buy spread. Now again, you don't have to use these. You can have them hashed out, have them zero, or have them deleted altogether. Totally your choice. So this max buy spread goes off the two. Let's go to um, just a... Uh, I'm on Cardano here for Bittrex. So the max buy spread is the difference between the bid, the top bid, and the top ask. So you need to figure out the percentage difference between these two. And again, we can use that same calculator. So let's just say 4.510 and 4.520 are the two values. Let's see if you remember them. So I put the last one in here, 4.510 and 4.520. Don't worry about all the zeros in front because it doesn't really matter. It's still going to calculate the same percentage. So calculate that. So right now, we're at a spread of 0.22%. So with my max buy spread at one, my bot would be able to buy that because it hadn't exceeded the max buy spread. Um, now if we go to Binance, the same sort of thing, it's just a bit uh, located a bit different. So here's your, um, is it your bid? Yeah, so here's your bid, you lower your bid and you ask. So you can see right now they're really close. So let's say 17.01 and 17.02. Let's plug those figures in. 1701, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. 1702, now it's going to be really tight. So 0.05%, so you'd have no problem buying that in normal or DCA. Now let's, it's going to be, it'll be hard to find something that um, does have a big dump. Let's find something with a big percentage spread. Uh, not that one. Oh, metal, metal's going up good. No, it's all. I know vibes dumping hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find one, so I'm just going to pluck a figure. I'm going to take this minimum one, six seven six nine, and I'm just going to pluck this one like six seven one four, just to show you. Uh, I think six seven six nine was it? No, let's just go back. Six seven six nine and six seven one four. Can't be six seven one four. Oh, I got my bid and my ask on, so that's the bid and that's the ask, all right? So 6714 and 6769. This is what happens when you just fly by city pants. So right now, even that one right there is, is still only 0.8, so still your bot would have no problem try, uh, buying that if you had the max, price, max buy spread set at 1. So let's just decrease this down to 659, some sort of figure. And okay, so that's now 1.6. So my values are set at 1, and my DCA is set at 1.5. So, and that's at 1.6. So if those are the two asking bid columns on that pair, my bot would not buy them. And it would come up with a warning in your console, say, cannot buy, blah, 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 max buy spread is exceeded, or whatever, something like that. Okay, the reason behind max buy spread is, as I was alluding to before, is um, it's sort of a not complete protection, but a sort of protection against pumps or dumps. So when a coin is pumping, you're going to see a lot of uh, oh, seller buy orders. It's going to be a large spread between the two because it's going up and up and up and up and no one's doing the other way. And same as when, you, when you're doing a dump. So you spread between the, the bid and the ask, ask is going to be quite large. So this one now... Oh, it just went up. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope that sort of explains how the back, uh, the max buy spread and the max and the actually the purpose of it works. Also, I hope it helps explain the max cost. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, give us a thumbs down if you feel the need. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want to see something. Uh, want to make a suggestion on other videos I can make. I'm really starting to run out of topics. There's only so many topics I can do on this. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can get future updates on any more content I release. 
And as always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you later.